We have yet another surprise for you, and this one comes to us live via satellite from his office in Washington, our great Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Please say hello to Dr. Ben Carson, who is standing by watching the show tonight. Carson? Dr. Carson? All right, I guess we'll check back in with him later. Poor guy's all tuckered out, you know? It's been a long two years. Anyway, we, we have yet another special guest who is coming to us from... Well, listen, without this next guest, we wouldn't even have this president of the United States. And here now, straight from the bowels of hell itself, please welcome Donald Trump's father, Fred Trump. Fred Trump! Fred, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Not a problem. I was just playing bocce down here with Christopher Columbus, and that dirty Italian Cheats worse than he navigates to India. Oh, well, well, I know. I'm say, I have to say, I'm surprised they have bocce in hell. It's all we have. Lawn sports and canker sores. Oh. Anyhow, word from below is I heard you were honoring my boy. That is right. We are celebrating two years in office. Well, I'm sorry, but you're giving credit to the wrong Trump. Oh, really? Well, how's that? You should be paying tribute to me. Everything Donald accomplished, every single thing he's done, is because of Fred Trump. If I had hugged that pudgy little turd even once during his childhood, none of this would ever have happened. I, but, but, Fred, why? Why were you so emotionally withholding? Why? What do you mean, why? Uh, why? You try loving Donald Trump. Go ahead. <laughs> Picture his face. <laughs> Do you feel love? No, no. But, but he's, he's not my son, so... Oh, how I wish I could say those words and make them true. <laughs> oh, come on, Fred. So you credit his presidency to the fact that you didn't show him any affection. All I'm saying is if I hadn't built an emotional wall, maybe he wouldn't be so obsessed with building a real one. How was that for some Oprah <laughs> <laughs> But it's powerful, but hasn't he what? done what? Hasn't he done anything that's made you even a little bit proud? Yes, he has. Okay. Remember when he told that seven-year-old that Santa Claus wasn't real? Yes, I do. I love that. Oh, well. <laughs> that was incredible. Okay. <laughs> Lucifer and I had a good laugh. All right, but anything? He was, he was also pretty good in Home Alone 2. Okay. Incidentally, it's the only movie we have down here. Oh, well, that is... That's tough. I, I'm sorry to hear. <laughs> oh, that's what you get for being a racist. All right, okay. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I got a vamoose. Carol Channing is about to sing. What? Carol Channing? Yes, yeah, she really she really puts the hell in Hello Dog. Oh, well, my, I bet she does. I won't keep you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Fred, that's Mr. Fred Trump, uh, everybody. Oh, wait, wait. Yes. Jimmy, I'm actually thinking of changing my last name. What? Don't love the association anymore. How does Fred Cosby sound? It sounds... <laughs> Sounds great. Take care, Mr. Sure, Cosby, sure and thank will. you. Yeah. I've been watching you, Jimbo. Uh -huh. See you down here real soon. Oh, great. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, Fred Trump Cosby. Fred Trump Cosby. All right. We're, hey, when we come back, our halftime tribute to Trump concludes with a very special performance from Aloe Black. So please come back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.